Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome to yet another Thomas and Friends character unboxing from Backman. So normally at the start of these videos I say how many people have requested that I do this character or words to that effect, but actually um, very few people have requested this one, um, but uh, I, to be honest with you, felt quite sorry for Toby who has to run on his own most of the time, so I've done this out of compassion for him. So the character I'm going to be looking at today is this, it is Henrietta, of course Toby's coach. So not a huge amount to say about this, this cost me £25, which is very very expensive, um, I think the RRP, the, uh, the price that you pay for these in America straight from Backman is, is about that. It's uh, $35, I think it was, $34 to be exact, which is about £26. So not quite as expensive as Toad, but still pretty expensive, but I'm not going to go through all that uh, rubbish about uh, how annoying the price is. If you want to see all of that, incidentally, um, I'll put a link up there to the Toad video where I cover all of that. But no, we're going to get this out today. We're going to reunite Henrietta and Toby together, uh, see how they get on together, I suppose, and also find out what this model's like. So, hope you enjoy it, let's have a go. So, there we go, the Backman Henrietta. It doesn't really say that it's Henrietta on the front or anything like that, but yeah, as you can see, it's got the nice, modern Backman packaging. Uh, so yes, we'll be getting Henrietta out in just a second. First of all, though, I will show you what's on the back of the box, and yes, as you can see, there's a whole list of all the other Thomas characters and rolling stock. Collect them all, it says in the top corner. Now, I'm not going to make that stupid joke about how Backman would love for us to collect them all, uh, because... Looking back over the last few Thomas and Friends videos, I've made that joke every single time. And uh, yeah, it's starting to get a bit bizarre, isn't it now? It certainly wasn't funny the first time, but it's definitely not funny now. So yeah, I'm not going to say that. Um, by all means, if you want to hear me perform that stupid joke, um, check back over some of the previous ones. But now we're going to try and get it out now. Normally, I've done something quite dangerous when I'm getting this out, and I've used a knife and tried to get it out. I'm going to try something a bit safer today. Someone called Explorer Map, so thank you to you, has suggested... I use, let me show you the implement, this, a tin opener. Now, it, don't get me wrong, you can still hurt yourself with this, but uh, I reckon it ought to be a bit safer than using a knife. However, I don't really know whether it works or not. So, <laughs> looking at this, I don't really know how this is actually going to work. But, uh, well, here goes. Henrietta, I hope you survive this. Yeah, no, this isn't going to work, is it? <laughs> Explorer map, did you want this to happen? Right, let's try it this way. Ah, right, this might work. Blimey, this is a bit, this seems a bit of a brutal way of doing things. Ah, if you turn it the right way, it seems to work. <laughs> what am I doing? This is insane. Right. Right, it's reached the centre. Has it done any good? The answer is, no it hasn't, it's just lacerated the packaging, as you can see. So, <laughs> um, okay, goodbye tin opener, I'll just find my knife, be right back folks. Right, <laughs> well I did try, I tried to do it safely folks, um, but again, so yeah, what I say in the past still stands, uh, get an adult to do this bit for you, because it's, uh, it's a bit dangerous, and certainly don't watch me do it, because the way I do it ain't safe, believe me. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Are we in? Nearly. Nearly. <sighs> Goodness me. Okay, I think we're there. Are we? Nearly. Nearly. Come on, Henrietta. I'm doing my best. Try and work with me here. Right, that ought to do. <laughs> well, I did try, as I say. I did try and make it safe. Okay, right. Let's see if we can get her out then. Are there any instructions? I don't think so, no. Okay, well, let's get her straight out then. Hopefully she survived that, hopefully. Okay, let's take a look then. Let me try and get her out of her tray. So, there's a decent amount of weight to her. I must say she's pretty heavy, but hang on. Am I missing something here? <laughs> right, there seems to be no face on this. Now, as far as I understand it, every Thomas and Friends character has a face. Isn't that right? And I swear... I'm sure I have seen pictures of Henrietta with a face. But yeah, underneath, on top, on the verandas, 
definitely no face. That is very, very strange. Um, so maybe there's a, a version of Henrietta that doesn't have a face. Maybe in some parts of the TV show she hasn't got a face. Maybe it's just in the books, maybe, that she's got a face. But this character from Backman certainly doesn't have a face. Hmm, oh, I was a bit disappointed by that. But uh, no, it seems like a decent model. So either way, the poor faceless Henrietta, I'm going to tell you all about her. I'm going to give you some history and then I'm going to show you her up close and we will take a look at some of her details. All right, how about that then? All right, let's give it a try. So Henrietta first arrived on Sodor in 1951 and of course she is Toby's faithful passenger coach. Toby very rarely goes anywhere without her actually and the two are more or less inseparable. Henrietta is based on a very old coach design from the 1800s. It's a coach from a tramway known as the Wisbeck and Upwell on the GER, the Great Eastern, I think that stands for. Well, pretty sure it does. Now, Henrietta loves to be full of passengers, although that very rarely happens, so I think if she did have a face, it wouldn't be smiling. But she still does offer great support to Toby in all of his endeavours, which is very nice of her, I think. All right, so there is Henrietta, up close and personal for you. And yeah, she's quite a good-looking coach, isn't she? Uh, I must say, I'm a tiny bit disappointed there is no face. However, I'm pretty sure there must be a good reason for that. Um, I, I'm assuming that perhaps uh, she didn't have a face in Thomas and Friends in the show at the moment. Um, I'm not 100% sure about that, but uh, yeah, I assume that must be the case. However, the fact that it doesn't have a face isn't all bad news, because it, it does mean that if you wanted a GER tramway coach, you could use this model as a veritable GR tramway coach. Um, I suppose that is assuming the fact that you don't mind that it's quite obviously a cheap children's toy, although not cheap to buy, of course. But then again, it's a good basis, isn't it? It's a good base model so that you could paint it any way you like, you could add an interior, you know, you could really detail it up. Um, so I don't know how much demand there is for GER tramway coaches, um, but for, for 25 quid, you've got a decent uh, base one here, I suppose. But yeah, apart from that, it is quite a basic model as most of the Backman, Thomas and Friends range are. Um, but I suppose it's not too bad because of that. It just means that the, the price is far too high. But that's not a surprise. It's always true. So let's take a look at some of the details then. We'll start positive. Obviously, the wheels are a nice positive because they are made of metal and not just plastic, which is very nice, good quality. And it means there's not much drag either. So Toby should have no problem hauling her along. I do quite like the verandas on these because you've got this sort of quite uh, ornamental looking guardrail or sort of yeah guard fence if you like around the veranda which is quite nicely done and uh, yeah it's, it's done in quite thick plastic though so it's not going to be too easy to damage the model is fully glazed which sometimes backmen don't even do in their main range which is quite impressive so you've got all of that um, unfortunately there is no interior on the inside um, that is a bit of a shame again for 25 quid i don't think it would be unreasonable to expect a few seats or at least some furniture inside there but no that is not to be unfortunately although on the outside you can see it's been painted up nicely in this sort of orange effect and you can almost see the the wood paneling on the side there which is pretty good the roofs are quite nicely detailed as well on these. You can see you've got these little details that have been picked out in black, which is good to see. And the buffer beams, well, they are quite basic. You can see um, they're basically just like the rest of the Thomas and Friends range, really. You've got the unsprung buffers, which I will just attempt to spring to prove it. There we go. And also one of the coupling hooks on there as well that you could, well, I don't think you could use it. I think it would break if you put anything <laughs> heavy on it, but uh, it's nice. It's a nice little detail nonetheless. But apart from that, yeah, that's it. That's it. And if you think about some of the other pieces of rolling stock I've had for £25, this has to be the most basic. But then again, as a licensed toy, you would probably expect it to be a little more expensive. But uh, apart from that, yeah, she's a basic old model, is Henrietta. Uh, not an awful lot to see, but uh, hopefully Toby will be pleased. So with Toby in mind, let's get Henrietta down onto the track. And uh, Toby doesn't know about this yet, so this is going to be a nice surprise for him. And let's see how the two get on, shall we? Hopefully quite nicely. OK, so I have got a nice tunnel set up here, as you can see, on the track. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide Henrietta inside the tunnel. There we go. So hide inside there, please, Henrietta. There we go. Now all I've got to do is find Toby and trick him into reversing into this tunnel. And hopefully that will be the best way of revealing the surprise to him that he's finally got his beloved Henrietta to run with. So Henrietta's hidden inside the tunnel. Let's go and find Toby and see if we can trick him into driving through it. Hello there, Toby. How are you? You're looking a bit lonely there, aren't you? Um, well, I'll tell you what, I've got a job that I think you could probably help me with if you wanted to. Uh, why don't you back yourself up and meet me round at the front, yeah? 
That's it, that's the right way, Toby. Keep going, and I'll, I'll see you in a minute, okay? Yep, that's right, Toby, keep going. It's, uh, you're not quite there yet, keep going. Oh, Toby, oh my gosh, look behind you. How can you possibly do that? Your eyes are on the front. Well, look, you are coupled to your very own friend, Henrietta. How about that? That was a magic trick. You can tell by his face look, folks. He's absolutely blown away by that. Well, awesome. You're together again, Toby. How does that feel? Well, take her away then, and we will see how you run with her, shall we? Let's see. Oh, yes. Yep, you look the part, Toby. I'm going to say that. You certainly do. Okay, so on the middle line, we have yet another engine that likes to work with a friend. So let me just bring him in now. He's got a small good strain. It is, of course. Is he in shot yet? It is Oliver. And who's he working with? Well, you can probably guess it is Toad at the back of his train there. So there goes Oliver. Well done, Oliver. Working hard. That's good to see. And of course, Toad at the back. And then finally then, on the inside line, quite an interesting thing to show you. We have yet two more characters that work together. It is Bill and Ben, but I've decided to mix the Hornby Bill and the Backman Ben. Or is that the other way around? Yeah, it might be the other way around. Uh, but uh, either way, there they are. You can see the massive height difference between the two there. Uh, yes, I thought that would be quite funny to do. Although, because they are two engines strong and not just one, uh, there is quite a big train there, a train of ocean wagons. So uh, that will be a good pulling test for them. For now, though, let's go and see how Toby and Henrietta are getting on with each other. Right, there goes Oliver and Toad. I'm just waiting for Toby and Henrietta. <laughs> Toby is quite slow, bless him. I think he's just taken aback by all the excitement. But he's here, he's coming, there he is, Toby number seven and his beloved Henrietta. Oh, and by the way, there are lots of other Thomas and Friends engines on the track. In fact, every character I own is on the track, um, either from Backman or Hornby. But there's one that I've missed out, so see if you can spot which character is missing and let me know which it is down in the description, or in the comment section, rather, yes. You won't be able to put it in the description. <laughs> They do look good together, I must say. Yep, you can tell that they were made to work together, can't you? Well, the Hornby and Backman, Bill and Ben, seem to be quite compatible, don't they? No problems at all there, they're good friends already. Alright, so here are some of my ratings then for the quite interesting, I think, uh, Backman Henrietta. So detail, I've given it just two stars out of five. Yeah, I think the detail is really, really basic. You want it to be pretty basic, obviously, as a kid's toy, but I think the price set high expectations for this model, and it was very, very basic in the end, but uh, otherwise not too bad. I did quite like the veranda detail, so I suppose that's something. The performance is a five star. Obviously, it doesn't have to do much to perform, as is the case with all rolling stock, but it does run fine. It goes over points. It manages just curves it does what you want it to it stays coupled etc so yeah that's all fine the quality i have to say is very good i mean the build quality is great not that there's a lot of detail to drop off the thing but it's well built it seems sturdy it's got metal wheels it's got all of the features that you'd want it to have really so that's a five star i think value though i've given it a one and a half star i can't i, I would pay a fiver for this literally i'd pay a fiver for it um 25 pounds is just too much and uh, yeah, I think uh, I say that every time, but it's still true. So while ever it holds true, I will keep saying it. In my opinion, far too expensive. Overall though, not too bad. 7.30 out of 10, not bad at all. Let's put it into the rankings. There we go, it's 23rd, just above the Helgen Class 52 and below the USA Dock Tank. Yes, a pretty decent model, I'd say. So let me know down below in the comments then, is the Backman Henrietta worth it? Would you buy one? There we go, that's the question. I mean, I guess, uh, I don't suppose I would have bought it really if I'd have known how simple it was. I don't really know what I was expecting, but uh, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. She certainly does what it says on the tin, so that's something, I suppose. It's just, yeah, don't forget, it's a very, very basic model. And uh, yes, I, I can't help feeling that £25 was a bit much for it, but it's all right. I think I've, I've seen worse. There goes Toad off into the distance. Well, folks, I think that will just about do it for today. That is the end of my review of the Backman Henrietta. Yes, quite an interesting model. I'm glad I did it for that because it is quite unusual, isn't it? And uh, I must admit, I didn't know much about Henrietta before today. But, 
Now I can say that I do, which is good. So thank you for watching. Thank you very much for your company. Don't forget to let me know what you thought of this in the comments, of course. And for now, folks, I will see you very soon. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.